have a very deep affection towards this bust of a man who looks at you with a quiet, focused gaze and kind of smile which radiate an ironic feeling. When the Metropolitan was lucky enough to get it in 1996, it was really a challenge to find out who the sitter is. It's a great mystery who he is, who made it, the wig and the armor, or a clue. The wig is very typically for the late 17th century. And if we look closer at the armory, it tells us the whole story in details. The armory shows you Alexander the Great, and names came up. A colleague pointed me to a portrait of Alexander Menchikov, picked by Peter the Great to be the general field marshal of all the Russians in 1703. He was very well known for his ostentatious behavior. When Catherine I took over, he virtually ran the country. After the death of Catherine, he was sent to Siberia. The aristocracy tried to eliminate his memory. There are only less than a dozen portraits. We know from descriptions that Alexander Menshikov had a very high forehead, very gazing, strong eyes, and especially these thin lips. The whole pictorial program is so thought through. It must have been a collaboration of the patron together with the artists to create a monument that would last. The artist was able to capture in wood the personality of the sitter, even if we can't name the artist. This is the beginning. Now we have all the time in the world to find out the rest.